Right, well, I think you can see that's a pretty decent victory. 78 against uh, 190. This one here took the brunt of it, 94. It was like one decent hit from his um, howitzers that really knocked him back. But uh, anyway, let's see how many he gets off the battlefield with um, 33 out of an original. Um, look at that, enemy killed 17. And yet, I lost 78. That's because it's not registering that howitzer shot. That's what that is. Nothing's escaped. You know, that's good news, isn't it? I did think there was only like one or two in each of those units that got away. But, uh, anyway, um, these are virtually unscathed. I did use my light infantry quite a lot, though. I had quite a lot of them in that battle. A bit like a chess game to watch, actually. Uh, you know, he kept attacking my, my infantry as I was moving them to try and get them together in column, and uh, I kept them to form the square. So. Right, we're going to siege this one. Uh, we can afford the time to do a siege. Whether he can or not is another matter. I expect he'll come out and attack me, but uh, that's entirely up to him. So let's have this army out of here. And with this one, uh, yes, we're a little bit depleted, but but we're not so depleted. Well, something went a bit funny there. That's all right. Maybe there was an auto save came on then at the same time or something. So anyway, uh, here we go. Let's um, take this one out. This is uh, Lombardy. Do you remember I took it from the Spanish? And that wiped the Spanish out of the game. Well in my favour this one, so I'm just going to auto resolve that one. Otherwise I'm fighting between houses and storming one, firing at a distance from another, you know, with uh, my light troops. And so that's that one taken. I'm going to uh, replenish this building, of course, or rather... So it's building out. All right, I'm going to build the fortification in there. I can't recruit anything in there yet, but I can pay a bit of attention to my troops. I don't know if I've got a general in there. Let me just see how settled it is. Oh, crikey, look at that, minus six. What would it be? Oh dear. It's going down by... Uh, it's going down from 13 to 12, so I could end up with a minus one next turn. Let's see. Whatever else there is. There's an industrial building in there that I could reduce, and that would mean that it's not giving me a minus factor, but gosh, look at that. nice to have that one, isn't it? I'm doing it. I was going to repair it, but it doesn't need repair. <laughs> I thought it needed repairing because smoke was coming out of it, but it's not at all. It's, um, it's just the chimney of the industrial building, isn't it? So we're okay with that one. Um, now, he did damage something here, didn't he? Uh, damage one of my ports. It's this one here. Repair that. Damage this as well. So we'll repair that as well. That can be upgraded. Now I was intending to use this to defend this pass here, but as you could see, he could go around here, and um, and also he could still get around here um, because even when I tried to intercept him, he still got past me. So that's not very good. So um, I, what I'm going to do is um, is defend from here instead. I'm going to occupy this place and this place. Now, if you look, if I just highlight this guy here, him, oh, he's the one with the best movement, isn't he? Oh, can't really move very well at the moment. If there's somebody in here that can move well. Never mind, anyway. I mean, but the point is, if I... Let's click on him again. All right, click on there. You see where it's green, the circle? That tells me where you can go and where you can't go. Right, you look around here. You see how it changes to a, a cross all the way down there? Okay, that's cross, 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 cross. Cross, 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 which means that nobody can get through there yeah, into my country. All the way around. The only way they can get through is through there. So if I have a zone of control here, and a zone of control there, then that's far better than me building a fort. I was thinking about building a fort there, which of course I'm not going to get any income from. I'm just going to tie up two lots of troops to defend that pass. So I decided to take both of those fortress enemies there. Of course, people can go round. They can come all the way around. Actually, if I hi highlight one of these, I'll show you. See there? You can get round there. Um, and then into this area here. Um, but, and this is well defended, of course, because of Bavaria. Uh, so, you know, I'm not too worried about that. Westphalia are in a big problem because they sort of prod in like a great big finger, don't they? Right into the middle of my territory. Anyhow, that's the... Uh, battles so far. I expect he'll come out and fight me there, of course, like I said already. If he doesn't, I'll have men to support, because I'm going to get some extra men. I'll need some to support this place anyway. A couple of those in there. Oh, gosh, what about the rubbish dragoons? 
instead of good quality. You know, the light dragoons. Yeah, never mind. Look at the building there. Look, I've got the best kind of building I can get as well. I'm going to still only get mediums. Right, Lombardy that I took and gave away to the Jedouins a long time ago has now been taken back. I've been avoiding building this um, craft workshop here because uh, I didn't want um, uh, I, I didn't want anybody to just you know burn it like they have been doing. Uh, so I'm going to put that one back in there. I think this can sustain it. It's got no men in there at the moment, of course, but I'm on a six, so a six is decent enough. Now I'm not sure. Did I replace those? Let me just have a look. I think I did. I must have done it. Yes, I have done. And these here. I expect these will get attacked anyway, so. Uh, oh, hang on, there's some in here that aren't. Uh, right, let's get these sorted out. Yep, he's got a much larger force than mine in there, by the way, so he's likely to come out and attack me. I'm hoping just to take the advantage of the. Uh, the fact that he's attacking me, basically. Now, the other place I wanted to be raising troops and perhaps working on an offensive was North India. Now, up in here, I haven't spent anything on it yet because I didn't think there was a need for it. But uh, I'm going to get it now. That's uh, Military Engineer School. And, uh, it costs a lot of money, 1800 and I've been struggling to afford that amount until now, but if you look at it, it gives me a chance to get uh, mortars, 4-inch mortars in there. And, um, it doesn't take several turns, it'll be done like overnight. And a mortar will be really effective, or a few mortars will be really effective in sorting out these um, fortresses that you've got around here. Any of the any of these that I decide to attack. I'll just stand back and just shell in the mortars, you see, so that's the intention. Provided it lets me have the mortar close enough to be able to reach right into the middle of the fortress that is. While I'm over here in India, I'm going to get a school over here in Mysore, this um, church school. Uh, here it is. Just going to improve this a little. Okay, so we can start converting India a little bit quicker or pave the way for you know when we take over the rest of India. Now let's see if I can get Hispaniola straight away this time instead of going to Cuba. Yes I can. Right, I'm going to put my horse in this main port. I've now got a fairly big port, I think it's this one. So a look. Yes, it is. It's that one. That's the commercial basin. If you remember, I put an army in here and I kept them in there while we settled the population. I'm now going to move those out and put them in there. Do you remember, I like to have um, an army inside ports just to protect them. I'm going to build a fortress inside here. This is becoming quite um, an important place for me. So, let's have a look here. Six, seven. Yep, uh, income of 640. That's about to increase, though, I'm sure it is. So, let's... Uh, build a fortress inside here. Yep. And I think we'll have a state capital as well. That'll increase the uh, percentage that I can take from here as well. So we're building up Hispaniola now and tobacco plantation and this is the main reason why I'm doing it because I can get tobacco and sugar also from here. Right, okay, so percentage is increased by the state capital. The um, tobacco and the um, uh, the sugar can now be um, developed a little bit more. Now we've got the commercial basin in there, and I've sent some um, troops in there to defend the place as well. Uh, might be possible. Oh, yes, it is. Well, here, might even increase this as well. This one will give me um, 309 to the regional wealth, for the look of it. And currently I've got, how much the region like 250. So it's not a great deal of increase, but it does reduce the chance of food shortages and increase population. I'm not sure, actually, if there are any more towns or villages to be built here. We'll just have a quick look. Oh yes, there is. There's another one there. Santiago. So by, um, by decreasing the food shortages, improving this situation here, it means that that is brought a little bit um, closer. Must be this one here, I would have thought. Yes, I think it probably is. Now that's um, 97 left, nothing else to spend, so let's see what the enemy come up with this time. Oh, by the way, we might as well just have a quick look. What about the... Um, where is it? Oh yes, 67.1% Protestant now, for whoever threw me the challenge to um, make Hispaniola Protestant. I know, it's only in fun, by the way. <laughs> 